Hi, beloved. In the Lord, my name is uh, Neely. This is Heavenly Host Vision with Lydia. I'm so excited to welcome you to yet another prophetic word. May the Almighty God bless you and keep you keep you safe, sound, and protected. Thank you so much, guys, for tuning in. I love you all. God bless you. Um, please, my channel has been going. Uh, I've you know had had some attacks. Okay, please, and I have a new one coming up. Just go there and subscribe quickly in the name of Jesus. Go there and subscribe quickly. Please. My channel is killing me. Oh my God. Oh no. <laughs> Please. So, um, Jesus. God said that you are, you are a double threat this season. Okay? You are a double threat this season. The enemy has seen, has seen that you're, you're coming into full power, into full capacity. You're embodying the, your whole glory. Your whole armor is on you and you are so strong. Your potentials are, being, are coming out. You're being seen, you're being heard, you're being understood. You're in your power this season. You're in your grace this season and the enemy is threatened by that. Listen, beloved, you're not just a threat, but a double threat this season. An enemy, they felt that they needed to attack you, to break you. Because it's like the kind of confidence that you've been, in, in, you know, you've been uh, uh, sitting across. It's kind of, it's, it, that, it, it, it makes them tremble. Your confidence is causing commotion. Your confidence is, is creating, you know, fear, panic in the heart of your enemies. And so... According to them, they could just do anything to attack you, to break your confidence. But God is saying that your confidence is very much sure. It is very, very much sure. In previous seasons, they had dealt with you and you lost confidence. You lost trust in yourself. You lost everything. It's like nothing was interest. It's like nothing was interesting anymore. You lost passion. You lost zeal. Because of the betrayal, backstabbing, the thing that the enemy used people to do against you. You lost it. For a while, they, they've had a wonderful time just watching you crying, complaining, lamenting, and, and, and you know, putting strategies into place, and they were all failing. They were laughing. They were like mocking. They didn't know that a, a time will come when you're going to be being back in your power and being, more, and being stronger. And now that God has commanded strength to get into your being, for you to, to have confidence in yourself, to be to recognize your, your, your divinity, to recognize your gifts in your life, to recognize your talents in your life, to recognize uh, um, um, your purpose, your grace, and putting them into use, the enemy is so threatened. Let me look at your life this season. I mean, look, feel, I mean, check yourself this season. And, and, aren't you feeling so strong, so confident in yourself? Aren't you feeling so bold? Aren't you seeing your gifts being manifested and things going well for you in some way? This is what the enemy doesn't like. The enemy does not like what they are seeing in your life right now. They do not like what is going on around you right now. They do not like the fact that you are getting the attention that you deserve, the love that you deserve, the, the help, the, everything. They, they are not happy about it. The enemy love to see the people of God crying, being emotional, being, you know, you know, doubting themselves and losing self-esteem. They like it. But you are no longer like you're not, you are not losing self-esteem anymore. You are like you, you like this, your self-confidence has been raised. You've got self-confidence, you, you've got self-esteem this moment. You're looking radiant this moment. You're looking beautiful this moment. God, God decreed that this is this going to be a month of healing. And honestly speaking, God has healed some some things in your life, and that is why you're coming into you're coming in, in full power. You're you're regaining your full strength. You're having focus, visions. You're actually putting your thoughts into actions this season. You're actually seeing the result of your labor this season. You are actually recovering what the enemy stole from you this season. 
no matter how you may be my feeling this time around like if it's like mm, because some of you are like okay things are not going the way you had wanted this this will never ever completely go the way you want Look, it's God because God is the one in control of your life. God is the one that feeds back to you. God knows what is best for you at a given time. The fact that something hasn't worked for you in this, in this season doesn't mean that God doesn't have it in thought. God knows when He's going to feed back that to you, going to feed that back to you. But in this season, the will of God is being done on earth as it is in heaven, beloved. That is the truth about this whole thing. Check yourself. You are in your full power. You are confident in yourself. The people of God are strengthened. They feel they feel the grace of God in their lives. They are they, they, they are they, they are filled with revelation. Visions are forthcoming. Dreams are forthcoming. That collaboration is there. That harmony is there. That love is there. This season, and that is what is true. And this, this, all, these, all these things are triggering. The, the enemies and they have been like plotting in cunning, cunning, they are cunningly plotting and coming towards in a certain way the Lord is saying please pay attention please pay attention even though you might you might have some things going well for you at, at but the enemy will always like they will, to, mind you they always try, try also to bring some things that aren't true towards you to, to set as a trap be careful that you don't fall into trap this season, hallelujah. So proposal might be coming to you because when God is sending his things towards you, then he may also send some towards you. So you've got to discern and take everything to God for confirmation, beloved, so that you don't get to fall into the traps of the enemy this season. Because God will present something to you as though it is great, it's wonderful, and once you get into it, you fall prey, beloved. But I pray this is that you shall discern and you shall know the voice of God. You shall know God's proposals. You shall know the love of God. You shall know the grace of God in your. You shall know the things that God is bringing towards you this season, and you shall not fail in Jesus' mighty name. All the things that God has been put, you know, you know, bringing into your being this season. These things have been threatening the enemies. You are a double threat. This is, and they just cannot understand how you are bouncing back and coming in full confidence within yourself. How is that possible? And they're like, they're like, how did you escape from their traps? How did you escape from that sickness? How did you escape from that, from that, from that, from that, from the, uh, um, from that, from that lower consciousness? How did you escape from overthinking, from excessive thinking? How did you escape from those negative friends that they, that they kept around you? How did you escape from those negative family members that they kept around you? How did you escape from their snake? It is still a question. It is still a wonder to them. They are asking themselves how you escaped from what they placed before you as a limitation, as a stumbling block. How dare you see beyond what they place in front of you? My God, they are asking themselves, how dare you see beyond? How dare you see beyond? How dare you understand beyond what they had made you to understand? How dare you crossing limitations? How dare you crossing boundaries and you're going? How, my God, it is a mystery to them. This isn't. You are in your full capacity. And God is saying that even though they're going to be bringing some things to us to trigger you, do not be afraid. He is the one that has granted strength in your being. He is the one that has granted grace in your being. He's the one that has given you all the riches in the heavenly places. He's the one that has, uh, has connected you. you. You are one with Christ. This is so bonded, so strong. This is nothing can temper with you. Nothing can, that, that is, you are so smart in the spirit more than ever before this season. And this is not sitting well with the enemies. This is not sitting well with the enemies. And I'm plotting to come after some things in your life. God is stopping it. Okay, God says He is stopping it. No matter how they've been trying to come against some things in your life, God is stopping it. Honestly speaking, I'm I'm saying this for a fact this moment. And God is giving His word to you that do not be afraid. He is with you. He's the one that has granted you strength. Everything this is that is 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 creating this panic in your heart. You deserve all the glory of God. You deserve all the goodness of God. Do not be afraid, says the Lord of hosts.
Isaiah 41 verse 10. It says, so do not fear. For I am with you. Do not be dismayed. For I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. This is the scripture that God gave me. And I was asking God, why did you bring this scripture in this kind of message? He said, give it the way it is. Give it the way it is. It is his promise in your life. Promising you and saying that he's going to be with you. Do not be afraid. He's going to uphold you with his right hand. All right? So you are not alone this season. You are with God. God is moving along with you. Be happy and fear not. Fear not in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. So uh, please, those of you who are still who are still thinking of supporting our sister Gloria, please, um, her info is in the description box. Go ahead and support her. In Jesus mighty name God richly bless you hallelujah also subscribe to my new channel oh my god <laughs> Jesus they're, they're going to come after this after this one but God is faithful glory to God you are blessed in Jesus name amen